Hey everyone, did you know that Florida is home to a wealth of nudist resorts and beaches? That's right. If you've ever thought about shedding those pesky swim trunks or bikini tops, you might want to stick around and learn about some amazing nudist spots right here in the Sunshine State. But first, if you like what you see on this channel, I would like to invite you to like and subscribe. It's free for you and it helps the channel more than you might ever know. Thanks for the support you've already given. So welcome back. Today we're diving into a really unique topic. New to spots in Florida. These locations are not just about sunbathing, they're all about freedom and acceptance and enjoying nature in a way that's liberating. Whether you're a seasoned nudist or just curious, these spots are definitely worth a visit. You might not want to wear a swimsuit again. All right, let's get into the juicy part now. There are nine must visit nudist spots in Florida that you should check out. First up, we have Hallover Beach in Miami. This gorgeous beach is one of the most popular nudist beaches in the US, shoot, maybe the world, I don't know. And for good reason, it's got soft sand, beautiful waves, and a very friendly vibe. There's a lot of parking pretty close by, making it one of the most accessible nudist beaches around. Continuing north up the coast from Hallover is our second spot, Blind Creek Beach. The trip from the parking to this beach is a little bit kinder than what you might experience at Hallover. Uh, the beach sports beautiful sand, nice waves. For a great nude beach that is not far off the beaten path, Blind Creek may just be for you. Third and fourth on our list are the sister beaches of Apollo and Playa Linda. Both of these beaches are located along the Canaveral National Seashore and are inside of a national park. The accessibility and beauty of these beaches makes these choices a winner. The downside is there's an entry fee to come into the park. But you know, you can get yearly passes that pays for itself if you visit each of these uh, only one time a piece. There is a fair amount of parking, but they are very popular so the lots fill up pretty quickly. So I would plan on arriving in the morning if you want a chance to park near the beach. These very much let you get back to nature. There's no hotels, no restaurants, or other tourist structures around. It's just you, naked people, the ocean, and the beach. And if you're really lucky, you can witness a SpaceX launch from nearby Canaveral. Be aware though, there is no running water at either beach and the toilet facilities are primitive. But you know, even with that said, these beaches are amazing. Number five on our list is the Paradise Lakes Resort in the Tampa area. This lively spot offers tons of activities from swimming to dancing and it's a great uh, social hub for nudists. Paradise Lakes has undergone some changes of late with it moving kind of more toward a swinger lifestyle vibe even though nudists still frequent the grounds. It's a beautiful facility and definitely worth a look-see. And along those same lines is Caliente Resort. This resort has also become more of a swinger haven with an unwritten agreement, you know, that, that nudists kind of dominate the day and uh, swingers pretty much take over in the evening. The nightlife at Caliente is off the hook. This is a high-scale resort with amenities and prices to match. Um, sorry to say, guys, it's very unkind to single males, so if you're a lone dude, expect to pay a premium. But this place is classy, top-notch, definitely worth a look. Well, next we're going to Sunsport Gardens, nature's resort in Loxahatchee. Nestled in the woods, just a hop, skip, and a jump to the west of West Palm Beach, this place is all about community with events and activities that really embrace the nudist lifestyle. So if you want to kind of slow down and just have a good nude day, this might be the place for you. And next, way up upon the Swanee River is the SVR or Sewanee Valley Resort. This resort is very military and first responder supportive and it shows. Uh, like Sunsport Gardens, it's a little bit more rustic, but it more than makes up for its rural nature with amenities and beauty. Uh, pickleball, hot tub, pool, shuffleboard, petanque, a stage for music, two bars, one with a restaurant, gives you plenty to do as you get your all over tan on. RV parking, camping, and cabin rentals make this place easy to stay at. And there's even a trail down to the famous Suwannee River. And finally, our list would not be complete with what could be arguably the best nude resort in Florida. So our final entry is the Cypress Cove Nudist Resort in Kissimmee. This place is a full-on resort experience, complete with pools, hot tubs, lake, restaurant. Uh, it's a great spot for families too. There are no bad times to be here. Uh, but they do have a lot of happening events on their calendar. So take a look at their website and see if there's anything coming up you might want to see. So Cypress Cove comes in as our top spot with beautiful grounds, plenty to do, and a multitude of lodging options. 
Now for transparency's sake, this list is not exhaustive. There are many more places to get your buff on, but it does represent some of my favorite spots in Florida and definitely they're worth visiting. As we continue our exploring of other venues, we'll bring you along, well, uh, you know, virtually, uh, and we'll update our list and keep going. Uh, while I personally have never met a nudist hangout I didn't like, I highly recommend the ones we just listed. So to recap, we've explored nine amazing nudist spots in Florida. Each of these locations offers something unique from beautiful beaches to vibrant communities and amazing nightlife. Now I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever visited a nudist spot? If so, what was your experience like? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want to learn more about nudism or other travel tips, make sure to check out our other videos on the channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell for more awesome content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And don't forget the sunscreen.